How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to talk about how you can lower your monthly internet rate. For this video, I literally sat around the table thinking, well, how can I put more money into my subscriber's pocket? Now lowering your internet prices is sort of like buying a new or used car. You need to employ a little bit of leverage in order to convince the other party to lower it for you. The customer service on the other end does have a little bit of leeway on reducing your prices, but they're not just gonna come right out and give you the lowest rate that they can. You sort of need some special magic words to tell them and then they'll go, okay, you know, you said the right thing. Now they're gonna give you the lowest prices. Now I'm gonna show you the steps that you need to take to lower your internet prices. Now these are the exact steps I followed this past week. I got my internet pricing from $50 a month to $40 a month with a higher speed. The first thing that you should do is Google internet prices in your area. Go look up your exact home address and see the available services. And then you can go and look at what those rates are and just find something comparable to what you currently have. If it's cheaper than what you currently have, then you have a little bit of leverage that you can use with the customer service. Write down all these cheaper prices and sort of figure out the installation costs too. Have that in mind, but you do not necessarily have to tell the customer service that you're gonna have to pay installation fees just tell them how much it is per month at let's say Xfinity cable modem how much speed you have up and down and how much it costs every single month and just jot all this down to be used later now the thing to keep in mind with negotiating these prices is that you got to keep in mind that you need to be flexible you need to be so flexible that in case that they reject you lowering your internet prices that you will indeed go and switch you will indeed cut off your internet right there and go with a different supplier this gives you several advantages because if you're not really good at bluffing you know that you're absolutely going to do this so your tone of voice really comes across to the representative they go wow you know this guy he's really going to switch so we gotta really need to give them a really low price to keep them as a customer now the next thing you do is call your isp up about one to four weeks before your contract expires if you have a contract if you do not have a contract you can call right away the reason why i say you need to call sometime before your contract expires is because you know your contract is going to expire you are going to take some action and switch and it's like immediately actionable therefore when you talk to the customer service they'll know that the date of changing for you is imminent if they do not give you a lower price right then and there, then they might go, well, you know, just call back, you know, several months later when your contract is up, you can't really change your deal right now because you still have the current contract. So timing is also important here. You need to call a little bit before your contract expires. So on the day that you call them, you just say, hey, you know, my internet prices is so-and-so. I want it lowered. I've checked with other ISP providers. They can provide a certain price and quote them, you know, say how much it is per month, say how much speed that you're gonna get, and you know, they're gonna work on their thing, they might talk with their manager, they're gonna go, oh yeah, you know, this guy, uh, you know, come back with all these solid data points, and this guy is really going to switch if we don't really give him a lower price. So they're gonna negotiate with a supervisor or something and give you a really good deal. You might wonder what might happen if you do not take these process and give them these quotes of these numbers. If you just ask them plainly, hey, I wanna lower my internet fees. They're just gonna go, well, sorry, uh, right now we don't have uh, a promotion for you right now. I think it's just really shady that they give different prices to different people depending on the magic words that you give them. So let me summarize a little bit Bit on what my current ISP was. I used to pay about $50 a month, $40 a month for six megabit down, two megabit up, $10 a month for renting this little box thing. Somehow they required you to rent it. I'd rather just buy the box, but they're like, no, you can't do that. You have to rent it. So I'm like, okay, whatever. And then another 93 cents of taxes. So it comes out to be $50 and 93 cents every single month. Now you might think this is pretty low considering I have a YouTube channel. Well, I just set things up overnight and it just uploads. And now that I'm doing 4K video, it really takes a long time to upload. Whenever people talk about megabits per second, for example, two megabits per second up, it's how many million bits per second up. So you just divide this by eight. Two divided by eight is one fourth of a megabyte up per second. Now I'm not gonna go through all the math, but this 4K video that you're watching, if you go in the settings and click that 4K, and if you have a 4K monitor or whatever, the quality of this is actually uploaded at 45 megabits per second. Now this translates to about a 3.3 gigabyte file for a 10 minute video. 
in order for me to upload a 4K video that's 10 minutes long, and I've done this in the past, you probably saw some 4K videos that are 10 minutes long, it actually took me 3.3 hours to upload just that one single video. Now I just reduced my monthly burn rate on this internet service from $50 to $40. I increased my download rate to 25 megabit per second and upload to five megabit per second up. This means now if I upload a 4K video that's 10 minutes long, it's going to take me about 1.3 hours. This particular video I estimate is gonna be about six to seven minutes long, I think. So it's gonna take one whole hour to upload. So these kind of videos are very data intensive. For the people that are watching this in 4K, well, you're gonna see everything much more clear. Even if you watch in 1080p, it's still gonna look very clear. Now, since I uploaded the previous video about the t-shirt design on a different channel, let me just show you this infinite vacation with the honey badger design over here. This is what I propose to be a t-shirt. If you guys like it, leave a comment down in the video description below. Let me know your thoughts. I'm already gonna to try to change the infinite sign to squish it a little bit. I'll see how that goes. And um, I'm probably just gonna go with that. So today is a special day. This is my third piece of fan mail here. I am very excited. Thank you, Thomas from New York for sending this to me. No matter what it is, I always get really excited to open any kind of mail, anything that is sealed up. It's sort of like opening up a present. So here I go, let me open this. And it is a card. It's like a handwritten letter. I don't know who writes handwritten letters these days, but I really appreciate it, Thomas. Thank you very much. Now, let me read it. Dear Beat the Bush, you are highly successful in skills with finance and with presentation of concepts surrounding finance and the economy and fluidity of daily living. I admire you and honor you by watching your videos and sharing your ideas with other people. When you announced that you quit your job, I had a wonderful feeling in my heart. Good for you, yes. You know what, I quit my job. When I quit my job, it's like the hardest thing ever because leading up to it, it's like, should I do it? Should I not? Oh my gosh, how are my finances gonna be? Am I gonna survive? Well, I planned for it and I did it. I know you have planned well and this contributes to your boldness for your endeavors that you present to all of your watchers and subscribers. I have gotten myself to a wonderful place of saying yes to the kinds of jobs, gigs I want to do in music, theater, and teaching. Thanks for your advice and guidance with any and all of this. You are so likable and humorous with your knowledge, Delaney. I don't know what that says. It is light, filled with ease and inspiring. Sincerely, Thomas. Wow, thank you, Thomas. I think this is a super duper ego boost and you know, if you guys keep on doing this, I'm gonna start getting a really big head. I try my hardest to stay grounded, but you know, if you keep on sending me these, you know, props and stuff, if you go in the comments and go, oh yeah, I'll praise, beat the bush, I'm gonna start to get a big head. I'm trying not to, but you know this is gonna be hard if you guys keep on doing this. So, you know, you could just, you know, Tone this down a little bit. Don't go, you know, you're wonderful and stuff like that. So thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to give me a like on this video. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of that t-shirt design. If you're interested in supporting this channel, check out my Audible link down in the video description below where you can get a free audiobook. And if you don't like this audiobook or this service, you can cancel it before the subscription expires and you can still keep this audiobook for free. I also have a Patreon over here where I offer past spreadsheets I've used in previous videos. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel over here and click that bell icon next to that subscribe button so that you get a new notification whenever I upload a brand new video. Thanks for watching.